This is Leah McWilliams, and you're watching DEP News. From engineers to laborers, many workers have spent their entire careers planning and building City Water Tunnel Number 3. Beginning 43 years ago, it's one of the largest infrastructure projects in New York City history. In October of 2013, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, Deputy Mayor of Operations Cass Holloway, and DEP Commissioner Carter Strickland gathered in a City Tunnel No. 3 valve chamber to announce the completion and activation of the final Manhattan stage of City Water Tunnel No. 3. When I came into office, I asked what could literally close down the city, and a water tunnel failure would have really done that, and I said, we've just got to make the investments. It's not sexy. And uh, nobody says thank you, uh, but we would uh, at least call we should be sleeping better because of this. The activation of water tunnel number three provides crucial infrastructure redundancy, allowing the city to inspect and make repairs on city water tunnel number one for the first time since it was originally activated in 1917. This is the newest part of a world-class water supply system that supplies one billion gallons of water every day to over eight million New York residents million people upstate, millions of commuters uh, and tourists who visit our city. We can all be proud of that. And the generations before us we are building the infrastructure necessary to support a growing city. The recently activated Manhattan portion of water tunnel number three is eight and a half miles long and can provide the approximately 350 million gallons of water consumed each day by the borough. There is no other infrastructure project that means more to protect the New York City's future than the third water tunnel. The Bloomberg administration has dedicated $2.7 billion towards the construction of water tunnel number three, more than the five previous Merrill administrations combined. The Brooklyn Queens leg of city tunnel number three is expected to be completed in 2021 and will provide critical redundancy for city tunnel number two. That's it for this episode of DEP News. Thanks for watching.